guys okay so today's injury breakdown is on ankle sprains and I'm gonna share a little secret with you guys um, believe it or not our bodies are actually set up by default to potentially oh this tree is so not protecting me as much as it was earlier from this rain well I'm gonna have to go quicker on this <laughs> okay so by default um, our bodies are actually kind of set up to have ankle sprains um, so in your lower leg in your shin you have two long bones that are parallel to each other so but here's the thing so you have your fibula which runs down here and your tibia which runs down here but here's where they change even though they run parallel your fibula runs all the way down to here which is where your uh, but your tibia runs all the way here which means that the fibula is longer so when you are on an uneven surface you land on the ground you step funny whatever it is when you land awkward or you place your foot awkwardly by default if you lose that balance guess what this long bone this bone is actually longer than this one so by default it's going to try and stay where it is otherwise it's going to break so your foot is going to turn up just like so clearly i've sprained my ankles a lot <laughs> and you're going to have you're going to stretch out the ligaments that are over here and so that's called an inversion sprain and um medical medical folks are very original um because that movement for the ankle joint is called inversion i know so clever right so here's the thing um you have three ligaments there and as long as you don't uh disrupt uh you you don't tear all three you're still good to go um just the level of injury or the grade of injury is going to just depend on um, the severity of what's going on so um, when you have an ankle sprain you are going to feel immediate pain swelling bruising um, you may have bruising all the way into your toes um, you're gonna have muscles are going to tighten up to reduce range of motion um, just because your body is going to kick into survival mode and try to protect you. Um, go figure considering it was the one that set you up for that ankle sprain. Go figure. I know, right? Um, so hopefully your ankle sprain isn't bad enough that you end up fracturing it. So if the pain is persistent and bad and you have numbness and tingling and it's blue or purple, um, yeah, get checked out. Go to the doctor, get an x-ray, make sure that you're still doing well. Okay, um, so management though, if it's pretty straightforward, if it's nothing too intense, you can get it checked out. So go see your athletic therapist or um, physical therapist and or a doctor and um but if you're at a, at a sporting event get it taped get well get it checked out and if it's not so bad they'll tape you up um just using athletic tape if you um can't return to play but um we want to get you moving and um and speed up your recovery process we can actually put you in a horseshoe pad uh and wrap it up with a tensor and by applying that pressure it's going to uh, reduce that swelling, that inflammation area, the bruising, and get you moving quicker. Um, I have a video of how to do that, so I will put that link in the description below, so you guys can check it out if you need to. Um, something's crawling on me there. That's fine. Um, <laughs> and uh, you may or may not need to use crutches as well. So again, it depends on how much mobility and function you have. Um, I'll also put that link into the description so you guys can know how to take care of yourself that way. And um, yeah, I mean, that's it in a pinch. So I'm not gonna go hardcore into it because there's tons and tons and tons and tons of things I can go on about for ankle injuries and all these other little intricacies and that's gonna bore you. So. <laughs> Um, hope you learned something and yeah, our bodies are mean, but they try to be nice and eh, don't give it such a hard time But uh, hope you guys have a great day and uh, stay dry. Okay. Bye